Here's Jaron Jackson. Two teams that are struggling right now. Both teams in need of something good to happen. Gasol back. Unable to play in Toronto. That's to be expected, but what a fantastic player. Trying to help his team find his way. Yeah, two institutions as Gasol right on cue. Hits a three for the Grizzlies. It's have been very sporadic, but when he's played, he's had good contributions. He's going to get a nice run here over the next couple of weeks with Davis down. Little turnaround hit for Mark Gasol. Good time. Well, you're a great ambassador, Grant. The things you do, things that are public and things that aren't. As Gasol, a little, how about a little turnaround, one-footed drop. That's special right there. Oh. There's a... As a rookie, and, and this right here, this is this is just that's special right there. Outside there, a nice fadeaway, understands the shot clock. That is hard to defend. You know, you want 7 0 run here for New Orleans, and now Conley for the an answer, and he's got it. Puts Memphis back on top. We've come, and how the WNBA and NBA has empowered their players to make sure that we not only get better at basketball, but we get we make the community better. I'm not living clean because that doesn't happen to me on the golf course, but <laughs> Gasol fouled. We'll head to the line. A chance at three for Mark Gasol. Obviously Conley has a, a contract that you can't really move if you're the Grizzlies, but trying to maintain to that grit and grizzly era with these two veterans, but also trying to develop young talent. Sometimes it's easier said than done. And right now though Memphis down 20. You got to give a push here at some point. And obviously Temple hitting a three is good. All the way around on the offensive end. Now it's going to be a very interesting couple of weeks here. Approaching the trade deadline of February 6th. As it's all with the catch and the finish.